John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And God spake all these words, saying Exodus 21 Commentary And God spake all these words which follow, commonly called the Decalogue, or Ten Commands, a system or body of laws, selected and adapted to the case and circumstances of the people of Israel, striking at such sins as they were most addicted to, and they were under the greatest temptation of falling into the commission of, to prevent which, the observation of these laws was enjoined them, not but that whatsoever of them is of a moral nature, as for the most part they are, are binding on all mankind and to be observed both by Jew and Gentile, and are the best and shortest compendium of morality that ever was delivered out, except the abridgment of them by our Lord, Matthew 22 40 the ancient Jews had a notion, and which Jarka delivers as his own, that these words were spoken by God in one word, which is not to be understood grammatically, but that those laws are so closely compacted and united together as if they were but one word and are not to be detached and separated from each other, hence, as they. Apostle James says, Whosoever offends in one point is guilty of all, James 2.10, and if this notion was as early as the first times of the Gospel, one would be tempted to think the Apostle Paul had reference to it, Romans 13.9 Galatians 5.14, though indeed he seems to have respect only to the second table of the law. These words were spoken in an authoritative way as commands, requiring not only attention but obedience to them, and they were spoken by God himself in the hearing of all they people of Israel, and were not, as Aben Ezra observes, spoken by a mediator or middle person, for as yet they had not desired one, nor by an angel or angels, as the following words show, though the law is said to be spoken by angels, to be ordained by them, in the hands of a mediator, and given by the disposition of them, which perhaps was afterwards done, see Acts 7.53 Galatians 3.19 Hebrews 2.2. 2. See Gil on Acts 7.53. See Gil on Galatians 3.19. See Gil on Hebrews 2.2. 2. Saying, as follows.